Hello and welcome back to Massive Orion 2. Uh, we've just finished up all of our uh, new instructions for building. And so we'll carry on. Uh, colonize pre selected, yes, please. Uh, let's see. Yes, we got Baron, uh, this one, which is. Uh, a, a type of uh, system. <laughs> Swamp and deserts, right. I think this was Tundra. So, let's see. Automated factory, robo miner, uh, research lab, supercomputer, auto lab, uh, biospheres, and uh, hydro pike. You know what? We are enough ahead in tech. Let's actually focus on automated factory robo miner, um, pollution processor, uh, atmosphere renewer, recyclotron, and we'll see what happens from there. Let's ramp up the production first. Okay, lots of things have finished being built. Captain Kerr the Smuggler, Helmsman, Navigator, weapon, Weaponry and Trader. Yeah? Ah, oh, then. The Mechlor and Clacon Empires are now at war. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, you know, it couldn't have happened to two nicer races. I get the impression that both of them uh, had been picking on the Cylons. Which is interesting because uh, obviously I'm I'm right here. You'd have thought they'd uh, they'd go for the human player, but hey, they haven't. So uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, leaders, leaders. Let's assign to. Let's have a look. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dalek spy steals microbiotics. Uh huh. Oh, planetary gravity generator. It's not one of the things I'm after, but, hmm. But before we get to that, uh, how about you stop spying? Okay. Right. Planetary gravity? Uh, yeah, go on, why not? Why not? I think we're about to get a breakthrough in a turn or so. Ah, the High Council has convened to elect one leader to be Emperor of the Galaxy. Emperor? Okay, um... Ixitixel? Ixitixel? I'm going to go with Ixitixel. Yeah, that so cute. Of the Clacons, an Emperor Magnamundian of the Magnamundus have been nominated. Magnamundis. Hmm. Still don't like that pluralization. Five votes for me. Darlocks abstain. That's probably because I just told them off for spying. Uh, four votes from the Trilarians. Four from the humans. Two from the Borathi. Uh, Clacons uh, vote for themselves. And I get five votes. Oh, wow. If I vote for myself, 20. Neither the leader has two-thirds majority. I am short by one. Although I don't particularly want to win this from uh, uh, diplomacy. There may come a point where I may have to abstain from my own vote. Just to uh, force the game along. Breakthrough in tech. Bomber bays. Robotic factory. And yeah, lovely. So, robotic factory is something that we're going to want to factor in anywhere and everywhere. Deep core mining. Yep, definitely have that. 
and core waste dumps. Pollution is completely eliminated. Okay. So we'll go with that. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry, it's it's fiddle with settings time again. So robotic factory, we'll push that up. Uh, actually, it's the speed at which we're building through stuff is actually quite good. Quite impressive. Uh, Recyclotron and uh, see, so where is it? It's a uh, robotic factory. 41. So we'll leave that at the end. Supercomputer auto lab biospheres. Um, we're actually less bothered about that now, aren't we? Hmm. Uh, pollution processor. Atmosphere renewer. Recyclotron robotic factory. Robotic factory here. Robotic factory here. Recyclotron robotic factory. Uh, yeah. Pollution process atmospheric renewal, recyclotron, and robotic factory. Uh, the one thing that uh, the Cylons being eliminated did was pretty much mean that I am ahead on science. Massively ahead. Uh, that being the case, I don't really see much of a point in... Uh... Ah, we're short on freighters now. I see. Wow, you make one food. And so do you. That's more like it. Um, let's just add a couple of freighter fleet in there. And then we can dis um, adjust accordingly. Oh, he called from the Interrans. Where are they going to attack? I think I'd be able to spot them. Ah, there they are. They oh, they're actually heading for Clack on territory. Okay. Plastrum. Well, I expect that to become uh, available pretty soon. As systems go. Not quite sure I want to uh to get involved up there, though. Hmm. Build, build, build. Oh, here we go again. Returns to Mechlon. Oh, ouch. Oh, Mechlon. Wow, that is really, really bad for the uh, the Mechlon. For the Interrans to be attacking their home world of all places. Ouch. 
I would not want to be in the Mechlar position. Right, we've got more freighters. So let's do that. There we go. Nicely balancing the food situation. Finished building robotic factory. Ah, 54 production. Wow. That is pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, so at this point, let's have a look. What do we want? We want to start uh, looking into missile battery, ground battery, armor barracks, and uh, fighter garrison. Oh, fighter garrison, then armor barracks, isn't it? And then battle station. Uh huh. Three turns for some of these items. That's, that's uh, pretty good. Darlock and Bullrathi Empires are now at war. I seem to be somehow managing to avoid annoying everybody. Never done anything like it. Deep core mining, core waste dumps. Wow, okay. Um, we really do need to start mopping up some of the other areas now. I think. Hmm. Galactic Cybernet. 15 research points and each scientist generates plus 3. So that's going to help. Uh, that costs about 4,500 points. Uh, let's see if we can try and clear up some of this, uh, some of these items. I, I still need Space Academy. I could have done that so easily so long ago. But it looks like nobody else has done that. Unless sociology is just something that you can't, um, you can't trade. Maybe. Let's do computers. Let's go talk to people. Oh, finish building battle station. Okay. Terraforming, soil enrichment, dimensional portal, deep core mine. Ah, deep core mines, please. And how's the uh, pollution looking? Ah, negative five pollution penalty. That's that's not massive. Uh, core waste dump. Well, no, it's cheap enough, so let's do it. And then we might have to uh, to think about colonising other systems, breaking out the uh, the colony bases, and uh, away we go. So let's have a chat with our neighbours. Start off with those. Start off with the clackons who look like they need the most convincing to stay on side. Nano disassemblers. Yeah, go on then. We'll do that. Do you have any technology I can... No, you don't. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. Hmm. He is amiable. I'm going to have to keep my eye on that. If he starts sinking downwards, he might be uh, the first person I have a problem with. Uh, let's check the humans. Wow. It's just nothing to be had there, is there? Nothing to be had there. Let's 
So I'm assuming that no one's actually um, researched the stuff that I'm after. Graviton beam, why not? Antimatter drive, why not? I'm, I, at this point, I'm, I'm more sort of trading just to uh, to keep people happy. Hollow simulator. Okay. Space Academy. Alien Management and Zeno Psychology. Let me have a look at this. Is that, is that much that we actually care about? That? Oh, I okay. can't. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, deep Core Mine and Core Waste Dump. So much that I care about down here. Planetary Stock Exchange. Astro University. The efficiency of farmers, workers and scientists has increased. Each receives a plus one bonus. Yeah, okay. Okay. Farmers and worker production has increased by 100%. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Hmm. So how are we looking on fleet? That's how we look. Everybody else is coming down as they fight each other, and I'm staying level. So let's uh, let's try and get a few of these uh, researches out the way. And what we're going to do with all this production? Uh, we are going to do an artificial planet, and then we're going to do one, two, three colony bases. I think. I think we can do three, or we can do once we've done. Hmm. I'll tell you what then. Do two of those artificial planet, and then no, it doesn't let us. So we'll have, to, we'll have to wait until after we've made the artificial planet. Uh, right, this is where it starts to get a little bit OTT. Automated factory, robo miner. Um, Pollution processor, atmosphere renewer, recyclotron, um, robotic factory, deep core mine, core waste dump. If core waste dump uh, removes all pollution, then do I actually need? Pollution processor, recyclers, well, I don't know. Go with that. And uh, what you might as well do is, given that these guys really have got bug all to do over here, they do produce far more. No, 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 they produce far, far more. Uh, yeah, okay. Gas giant, so a colony base and a. Uh, uh, no, no, hang on, we haven't finished here yet. Wow, how much stuff we've still got to do. Um, we have a lot so marine barracks, missile base, ground batteries, fighter garrison, uh, armor barracks, battle station. You 
might as well do a deep core mine first. Mm-hmm. Deep core mine and core waste dump. Alien Management Center and Xeno Psychology. Focus on the motivations of other races in an attempt to form deals that are more appealing. Permanently add 30 diplomatic points to every deal offered to your opponents. Nice. Okay, let's stick with uh, the low hanging fruit that's available at the moment. Now, two colony bases, please. Uh, automated Robo Miner Pollution Processor Atmosphere Renewer Recyclotron Robotic Factory. Deep core mine, and I'm sure there's some other stuff that I've missed, but hey, knock yourself out and all of that. Three colony bases, uh, ah, hmm, our food system. So. Deep core mine, core waste dump, and at least one colony base by the looks of it. And then we start looking at uh, an artificial planet. Automated, Robo. Atmosphere, Recyclotron, Robotic Factory, Deep Core Mine. There'll come a point where doing this becomes boring enough that I just hit the auto button. Not quite there yet, but uh, let's see. So I've uh, still plenty to do here. Still plenty to do. Marine barracks, missile base, ground battery, fighter garrison. Uh, armor barracks and battle station. A violent earthquake hit, earthquake hit the colony of Plastrum 2, killing 3 million colonists in the clack on Empire and destroying zero buildings. Okay, anti-grav harness, gyro destabilizer, inertial stabilizer. Right. I wonder if we can get shield capacitors from anybody. Let's start work on force fields. Okay, automated, robo miner, uh, robotic, deep core mine, auto build. We're at that point, folks. Colony base, call me up. Next one, missile base. So, colony base, and then uh, repeat build artificial planets, please. Because there's uh, one, two, three slots for it. Okay. 
Shopping centre. Okay, so... Pretty much where we want to be at the moment. So that's... Uh, repeat build the Elise. Automated, Robo Miner, Robotic, Deep Core, Auto Build. Yep, that's as much as I'm, as I'm going to do. Short on food. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's. Uh, do this. Uh, we are negative seven food, negative four, zero. What we need is more freighter fleet. Actually, let's do that there. And uh, where else can we probably chain one out in one turn? So, there, and uh, here. And definitely there. Okay. Hmm. So now we've got plenty spare. Plus one food. All good. Right. Class 3 shield, planetary radiation shield, and warp dissipator. Okay. Let's have a look at planetary stock exchange. We still have to stock exchange now. What? No. Oh. I really wish you could sort of pick the order that you do things in, like with Sev. Uh, colonize, place, uh, production, automated, robo miner, robotic, and deep core. Auto build after that. One there. absolutely nothing else to do. More or less. Let's repeat build. Repeat build a lease or colony ship? Let's do colony ship, shall we? Why not? Uh, done an artificial planet, so now I want a colony base. Uh, so, science. Shield capacitors, we're still looking for that. Uh, we also want planetary stock exchange and tractor beam. Tractor beam sounds more likely. Surely someone has uh, researched that. Let's go and have a chat with our uh, friends. We're all getting ever so slow. Mm. Keep my eye on these. Really? Really? Hmm. 
I'm so surprised by this. Assuming that people have cottoned on and they just don't want to, um, hmm, no, they just genu genuinely do not have anything to offer me in terms of tech. Wow. Aha! Subspace communications. Oh, go on then, why not? Normal gravity, mineral abundant, non hostile environment. So there's quite a few options. Not all of which are systems that mm, just a. Do not understand why the Mechla have not taken that system. Hmm. They are, however, uh, eating up the uh, Clacon, which is slightly worrying. Hmm. High Council has convened to elect one leader again. Okay, Emperor Magnamundian of the Magnamundi. Thank you. And Emperor, uh, it's uh, that same Emperor again, uh, Exitexel, is the way I'm reading that. That's how I'm reading the Exitexel. Cute. Doesn't look cute, but sounds cute. So, six votes for me from the Mechlar, four from the Darlock, that is surprising. Four from the Trilarian, four from the Humans, two from the Borathi. The uh, Clackons vote for themselves. And I have seven votes. There is 34 in total, so two thirds of that would be 22. This is getting dangerous. I could vote myself a victory right now, right this minute, but I don't want to do a diplomatic victory. I've already done one of those. That was my first video. Um, you know what? I'm going to actually make the Clackons think better about themselves. I'm going to vote for the Clackons. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. Uh, let's see, colonized. Automated factory, robo miner, no, robo miner, robotic factory, deep core, auto build. Um, yeah, at this rate, I might actually have to annoy somebody because otherwise, they could actually uh, vote me in without me even having to vote for myself or abstain or whatever. That's scary. Okay, we've now got a new Elise built. And you've got diddly squat to do. So, let's, get, let's crank out more colony ships, shall we? Time to go and colonize the world. Um, hmm. I'm going to need a second food planet at this rate. Uh, you do three. Oh, hang on. Let's have a look in terms of the ones I've finished and are producing other stuff. So, three food. One. Two. 
one. Oh, hang on now, yeah. You produce one, you produce one. You, ah, you produce three. So artificial planet, cloning, diamond, yeah. So once that's out of the way, Yen. Yen 4 can be the next the next uh, food system. Uh, I also need to think about cash flow by the looks of it. Although we are getting so much money from these treaties, uh, we need more. So we've got uh, one place that's producing an Elise, two are producing colony ships, and uh, anyway, well, rather than producing colony ships, produce uh, trade goods. Okay. Next in queue is Elise. Okay. How's our fleet doing? Fleet is growing. Slowly, but it is growing. We've now matched the Borathi. It looks like the Clackons are rebuilding after the Mechlar Cylon War. And the humans are quite strong. So we should worry about that. Okay, we now meet. Ah, uh, yeah. Planetary stock exchange, and I think we're going to need those. Uh. Hmm. I think I've pretty much given up trying to get uh, tech out of the others now. Labour leader. Productivity of factory workers by 40%. Yeah, I'll hire him. And where do I want this uh, enhanced productivity, I wonder? Uh, let's see. Somewhere where... Perhaps Zack. Perhaps Zack would be a good. Ah. Yes. Let's find some. Yeah. Let's reassign you to Bongola. And we'll reassign you to Zack. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've now reached the Trilarians. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Next in queue was another release. Drive, Iron Pulse Cannon, and Shield Capacitors. Uh, let's see. Tractor Beam out the way. And we've produced another release. Uh, colony Ship, Draconis System. Oh yes, of course. This is this is this is this system. Um, right, automated factory, robo miner, robotic factory, and deep core mine. Auto build. Let's just go back to the main. Ah, artificial plant in fifteen turns. Okay. Well. 
Well, we're definitely building up our fleet and that's probably a good point to leave off for now. Like, comment and subscribe and uh, we'll see what happens next time. Bye for now.